Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Grab It episode number 6. Let's Grab It is a series where I showcase the creation of vector art using Gravit Designer, a free, cross-platform, and fully featured vector design application. I will include a link to their website below for more information. Today the subject will be a cute creature. Please feel free to pause the video as needed in order to follow along and be sure to ask any questions you may have in the comments below. Thank you for watching, let's get started. We'll begin by creating an Instagram post from the homepage template. Then press E to select the ellipse tool and drag out a circle by holding shift. And if you hold shift and reduce, it will constrain to a perfect circle and then center it and let it snap on the canvas. And then we're going to choose a green color and I want sort of a limey light green here. I'm not really sure. You see me just kind of moving around trying to figure out where I want to land and I don't want anything too dark, uh, something preferably just a little playful. Then we'll press R to create a rectangle and drag out a small rectangle. And you'll notice again, I went and I changed the color of the original circle because I still wasn't completely satisfied with it. Then we're going to select the rectangle, take the color picker and give it the same color fill as the circle and then drag the color straight down to give it just a little bit of a darker fill. Then we're going to copy the rectangle with control C, paste it with control V and then holding shift, we're going to drag it over to let it snap to the center of the circle. And then we'll select both legs and center them on the circle. Then press E for the ellipse tool drag out a circle then press R for a rectangle tool and drag a rectangle over right about there. Then select both shapes and go up to the top and subtract shapes. This will leave us with this bottom foot looking shape. Then we're going to copy that shape with control C, control V and we're going to move it over and then just line them up on the legs and make them look like feet right about like that. And we're going to press E for the ellipse tool and we're going to drag out an oval in the center of the face right about there. Make it white. Then taking that shape, we're going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and drag it down. And then give it the same darkness color as the back legs. And then we're going to send it behind the eye by holding down Ctrl and hitting down on the keyboard. And then here I select both shapes with shift and sort of just manipulate them to the shape that I want for the eye. And you can pretty much go with a round, oval, whatever suits you. Then we're going to copy the white eye with control C, control V. We're going to reduce the size and center it to the center of the eye. And then I want a really dark blue color here, not necessarily black, but just really, really dark. So we're going to drag it somewhere in there. Then we're going to press E for the ellipse tool and we're going to drag a circle over the edge like this. Then we'll select both shapes and go up and choose subtract. Then we'll press E again, draw an oval, give it that white fill the eye has and move it sort of in there on the eye and just, you know, get it to the sides that we feel comfortable. Good. Now press E for the ellipse tool and we're going to hold down shift and draw out a small circle and give it the same fill as the original body. And these are just going to create little lumps. And then you can copy it with control C, control V, and then just move them around on the body wherever you want. I'm just creating a little texture on the character here. Then we're going to copy it with control C, control V, move it to the center and give it the same fill as the back legs with the shading under the eye. Make it slightly smaller, holding shift. And then copy it with control C, control V and drag them over. And with the here, we're just making some patterns on the character. Now to make a mouth, press R to choose the rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle and round in the corners. Now we're going to press R for another rectangle tool, put it over top of the original rounded shape and we're going to cut it. This is going to leave us with a shape roughly like this. Now we're going to drag it down and center it on the face and give it a dark red fill. Now 
Press E for the ellipse tool, drag out a circle, and give it a brighter red color. Now we're going to reduce it down. Now we need to take that original mouse shape and we need to convert it to a path by either hitting Control Shift P or right clicking and going Convert to Path. Now select the circle we made for the tongue, use Control X to cut it, select the mouth, and then go up to Edit and choose Paste Inside Selection. This will then move that circle inside of the mouse shape. Then we're going to press R for the rectangle tool, draw some smaller rectangles, make them white, and round the corners completely in. And we're going to make some teeth. And we're going to drag it right about there, right over the mouth. Then we're going to press R for the rectangle tool, drag a rectangle out at the bottom, and we're going to use it to cut the top one. There, we'll choose them both and go to subtract. There we go. Now we're going to reduce the size just a little bit. A little bit bigger. There we go. Right about there. Because we want sort of a child looking tooth. Now we're going to copy the shape, control C, control V, move it over, and then we're going to flip it vertically. And now we want to reduce the size. We want to select the shape and then either hit control shift P to convert to path or right click and convert to path. Once that's done, hit the D key to use the node selection tool. Now what we want to do is we want to select both nodes at the end. You see you don't want one at a time or it's just going to drag down from one corner. So you have to select both and then drag them straight down using shift. And then you see me kind of move the tooth up and snap it to the top of the mouth. And then I decide I want it lower again. And then I decide I want it lower again. So again, make sure you select both nodes and then drag whoop, and then drag the node straight down. There we go. And then move it up and let it snap to the mouth. And there we are. We got two little cute teeth. Now we're going to reduce the size of this texture circle here. Now we're going to take this one and copy it with Control C, Control V, and move it up. And then we'll select both of these, holding Shift. We'll hit Control C, Control V, and we'll copy them around. And then here you just see me just moving the shapes around a little bit, just creating a little bit of a different texture. Copy this one with Control C, Control V, hold Shift, reduce the size. Again, we're just creating random textures. Select them all, Control C, Control V, move them to the other side of the body, flip them, both horizontally and vertically, so it changes the alignment, and then just kind of move the shapes into a different formation. About like that. Good. And we're going to take this one, copy it with Control C, Control V, and we want to paste it inside the body. So we're going to hit Control X to cut it. We're going to choose the body and go up to Edit, Paste Inside Selection. While we're at it, we're going to grab all the other detail shapes. Press Control X, choose the body, go up and Edit, Paste Inside Selection. This puts them inside of the body shape. Now we're going to copy this one last shape here with Control C, Control V, and we're going to move it up there right off the edge. That way it cuts off at the body. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save it to my Gravit Cloud. Name it Cute Monster. Now we can choose the pen tool by either pressing P on the keyboard or going up and selecting the pen tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag out just some basic little triangle shape to create a hair pattern is hit V to unselect, go to borders, delete the border, and then use the color picker tool for the fill and select the same green as the body. And these little shapes will just basically emulate hair. We're gonna do it again over here in the corner. So press P, drag out some basic triangle shapes that look something like hair, whatever you're comfortable with. And then press V to close them. Whoops. Press V to close. And then choose the border. Delete the border. Choose the color picker and choose the body color. At this point, I'm going to change the background to more of like a blue. And then just adjust the color to where I'm comfortable with it. Just to get it off that white background. And right about there looks pretty good.
Now press P for the pen tool. And we're going to draw some more hair. So make some more little triangle shape. Press V, choose the border, delete it. Select the color picker and give it the same color fill as the body. Now we're going to take the leg shape, copy it with control C, control V, move it over. And then we're going to rotate it. Then we're going to move that hair up just a bit and move the arm up just a bit. And then we'll copy it with control C, control V, flip it horizontally and just slide it over. And if we hold both shape by selecting V, we can kind of center them to the body. And here you see me just kind of getting them where I want them. And this is really personal preference. Press E for the ellipse tool, drag out an ellipse and give it the same color fill as the body and then drag it over the arm and then resize it to where you're comfortable. Now press R for the rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle and round the corners completely in. And again, give it the same color fill as the body and the hand. Then we're just gonna slowly move these into place. So you kind of just move these around, resize them until you're happy with the finger shape. And for this character, we're just gonna do three main fingers and a thumb. So you can see me just sort of move these into place. And again, just get these where you're happy. Copy it again, rotate it, good. And then for the thumb, you copy the same shape. It's just gonna sit on a different place in the hand. So you just gotta get this to where you're comfortable with it and where you think it looks good. And for me, it's right about, I'd say, in that area. Good. Now I'm gonna drag a box around the entire hand and group it with control G. And then copy it with control C, control V, flip it horizontally, and then drag it over holding shift to the other arm. And now we have the hands completed. Hit P for the pen tool, and then we're gonna go and drag some hair on the feet. So we're gonna use the same technique as we did on the body by drawing some small rectangles and then closing the shape with V. And then choose the border, delete it, grab the fill tool and give it the same color fill as the feet. And then do the same thing on the other foot. Hit P, drag out some hair shapes, select the borders, delete them, choose the color picker and select the same color as the feet. And there we go. It just adds a little bit of detail there. Very nice. Now press E for the lip tool and drag out an oval under the character and give it the same color fill as the pupil. And then we want to set it to about 20% opacity, center it on the character and send it all the way to the back with control shift down. And that gives a little bit of a shadow. Now we're going to select the entire shape, group it with control G and we're just going to resize it and center it and get it right about where we want it on the canvas. Right about there looks good. And you'll see, I just moved this around trying to make some space. Press P for the pen tool and we're going to make some hair on top of the head. So we're going to drag out some triangular shapes like the other ones. Hit V to close it, choose the border, delete it, hit the color picker for the fill and give it the same fill as the body. And move it over a bit. Now we're going to create back hair. So hit P for the pen tool and we want to drag this shape just over top of the other shape. And then we're going to give it a darker fill and send it to the back. So hit V to close it, delete the border, choose the color picker, give it the same fill as the darker colors, and then send it to the back with control shift down. And this will simulate hair in the rear of the character's head. We're going to select all the shapes, hit control G to regroup them and recenter it. Now press E for the ellipse tool and drag out a circle and give it the same fill as the eye color. And sometimes I like to drag them off to the side over here to work on them off the canvas. So what we're going to do is copy that shape with control C, control V, drag it over to right about there to create sort of a crescent shape Then select both shapes and go up to subtract. This will create one shape for the horn, put it over the character and send it to the back with control shift down. Then we're just going to sort of move this around and resize it until we get the horn right about where we want it. That's looking pretty good. And you know, this is, again, this is all personal preference. 
And then we're going to copy it with Control-C, Control-V when we're done. And we're going to flip it horizontally and we're going to slide it over. Then we'll select both horns, holding Shift, and then center them on the body. And there we go. Very nice. And then we'll save it with Control-S. And here you see me move them down just a bit. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have a request or something you would like to see me draw, please leave it in the comments below. Also, if you would like to support the creation of these videos and earn other additional rewards, please check the video description for my Patreon information. Always remember that anyone can be creative, just believe in yourself and work hard. Thank you and have an amazing day.